All right, guys, so today I'm going to talk about a couple of interesting sliders that are coming out. Uh, the first one is Red Rock Micro's One Man Crew. Uh, basically, it's a motorized slider that ping pongs back and forth. When it gets to one end, it automatically goes back to the other end, and then it automatically goes back again. Um, the great thing about that is you can set it up as a B camera angle and just set it and forget it. And uh, it just keeps your subject in frame because it is parallax and uh, it will just keep tracking back and forth. So it's a, it's a great shot to just cut away to when you need to. Um, and, it, and nobody has to be there to man it and it's uh, completely silent. Um, and Kessler is also coming out with one as well. Uh, it's another motorized slider. And, um, you know, it, it keeps the subject in frame using uh, mechanical type parallax camera panning. You'll, you'll check it out. But anyways, I'll, I'll have some links on the blog post about that. Now, um, I was inspired by that. I love the idea that you could set a slider up on the side and your camera could move back and forth and back and forth. And whenever you need to, you just cut away to that shot because the camera is just continuously rolling and you get some dynamic camera movement without actually having an operator there. So, um, I, you know, obviously I was inspired by that, so I decided to just come up with a very, very basic, basic circuit. I'm talking really basic. This is like less than $10 worth of uh, electronics um, to make this motorized slider go back and forth, left and right. Uh, basically, we have two little micro switches here, normally open, normally closed, and one uh, DPDT, which is a, a double pull, double throw relay. Um, and it is a relay. It's not a switch. Most motorized sliders out there that you can reverse direction uses a toggle switch. So I'm using a relay, so it just automatically does it itself. And I'm doing a little trick where I'm looping the feedback into the relay to keep the relay open. And so... Basically, one switch keeps a relay on, and the other switch breaks the circuit to the relay because it's looping back. Anyways, um, it's very confusing for me. I'm, I'm, I don't know much about electronics, uh, but I did manage to get it working. So eventually, I'll put this schematic up on the web so you guys can check it out for yourself. Um, and I'll show you some footage of this kind of going back and forth on its own and sort of how it works. Now, what this doesn't do compared to the Red Rock and the Kessler is there's nothing intelligent about this. Now, you could put variable speed into this and you could um, put some sort of speed controller in the motor, but it's, it's pretty dumb, meaning if you want to adjust your limit on how far it goes left and how far it goes right, um, you basically have to move your switches uh, with the Red Rock possibly with the Kessler, you can program that in to say go six inches this way and 12 inches that way. Now, this one is all dependent on the micro switches on each end. Uh, another thing this does not do is it's not parallax. So your subject can fall out of frame as this slider is moving back and forth. So depending on how you set this up, um, you know, you have to be choosy. The, both the Red Rock and the Kessler will keep a subject, you know, in the middle and just kind of kind of curve as it, as it goes back and forth. So this is pretty dumb in that sense. Um, also, there are no sensors here. So as it gets towards the end, it doesn't ramp down reverse direction and then ramp the speed back up. It pretty much just flip flops at whatever speed you're going to set this to. So it's not the best idea out there, but it does work with less than $10 worth of um, uh, parts to turn almost any motorized slider out there uh, you know, to be able to do this. So um, I'm just using the Servo City slider that, that was sent to me here, and you can see I have the pocket cinema camera set up. Um, but again, with the circuit in this, um, two micro switches and a relay, it could really be applied to just about anything, and I mean anything. So it's not limited to just a slider. I mean, you know, if you wanted to, you could probably do it on a crane. Um, you know, and I've done that before. I've done a motorized crane before. So uh, there's a lot of ideas you can expand on using just um, $10 worth of parts uh, to make something just kind of ping pong back and forth. Anyways, um, hopefully I can get this all together and clean it up and make it uh, look better for you guys and presentable and, and also an easy DIY. Some of you guys are, are smarter out there, so you can probably figure it out and put it together yourself and 
kind of share how you're using that. But uh, in any case, here's an example of the uh, ping pong version of a motorized slider that I created. Again, inspired by both the Red Rock Micro and the uh, Kessler solutions that are coming out later on this year.